After years of working from his cramped basement, professional artist Jason finally fulfilled his dream and in April 2010, he opened his own working studio in downtown West Branch, known as Nuttall Art Studio. This is the studio, uh, the first part of the studio. There are two different parts. Um, this is the hottest room because there's no uh, no window or anything. But this is um, I've got artwork on display, artwork in the process of working on um, more works in progress. My BB King cookie jar that hasn't been, hasn't seen the light of day very much, other than in the studio. And uh, I've got my Popeye series up, still working on that, uh, based on the movie of Popeye. This is the 30th anniversary, so it fits, pretty, fits in pretty well. Some of my little memorabilia of Sergio Aragones at the comic convention, holding the rattle that I made for him. It's a ceramic rattle. Um, and Stan Sakai up above, holding his rattle. Actually, you can, if you can see, they're showing each other the rattles that I made for them. And because of those pieces, um, I was able to get this drawing that Sergio did for me, which is great, something I've been waiting for all my life. Um, he did a caricature of me, actually, which he never does, um, and a caricature of himself working on the rattle. And this is a picture of the three of us together. And still advertising for West Branch, westbranchchildrensfilmfestival.com. This is from a live model. I've been, because of the studio, I'm able to get more. Um, I can have models come in and pose uh, while I'm drawing them or take photos and draw them later, but she, this, uh, this model came in and modeled for me. This was her payment. I did a drawing for her so that she was able to take home. Decided to make a flyer out of it. I am hoping to uh, have like a, uh, like a workshop with some artists come in where they can, and they can do like light model drawing and stuff like that. I feel a lot more, a lot freer in here. I feel good coming into the studio. I don't, I never feel like, uh, you know, oh, I gotta go to work kind of a thing, you know, dragging my feet. It's, it's been a very positive thing. I feel good about it. My only concern is that I haven't been able to, you know, advertise. Like, people don't know where the studio is still. And one of the ideas of having the studio is have a public place for people to come in and look at the work. And look and see what I can, what I have, what I can do. Um, another thing that I've been trying to do is enter more shows, more, um, more exhibits. I had a piece. This piece over here was entered into an exhibit downstate at the Birmingham Bloomfield Art Center, uh, which I guess was a huge, uh, huge thing. I didn't realize it was uh, such a big thing that I entered. It was the first time I ever entered it, and I got it, got the painting accepted into it. Um, I guess that was a big achievement because some artists have uh, entered like four or five times and never got in. The studio is more about you know people coming in just to look at stuff, not necessarily a business kind of a thing. I'm not trying to get people in here to buy. I just um, one of the reasons I wanted the studio was to have um, for people to, of any age to come in and just be able to see what an artist does. Because um, if I had something like that when I was a kid, I would have loved it. I would have been coming in all the time, see what the well, what they were doing and whatnot. Studio, it's where I draw stuff.